What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the latest version of the CM File Manager on your PSP on PSP Go. This should also work on PS Vita, but I don't know about the compatibility issues with that. So in this video, obviously I'm just going to be using my PSP. And if you guys would like to install this as well, it's kind of like an Android simulator. I wouldn't really say emulator. Um, it's got kind of like an Android GUI and um, you can just, you know, do a few options like FTP mode, you know, browse your PSP features files and that kind of thing it's quite a nice file manager so if you guys would like to get this scroll over and we're going to go down to USB connection we're going to press X on this we are going to connect our PSP to our computer with the USB cable and I will show you guys what to do from there so there will be a link to the CM file manager in the description of this video and as you guys can see it was released 11 days ago and it was updated to version 3.20 so if you do want to install this and you have a previous version it's definitely recommended to remove the previous version um, because the new version maybe will interfere with it and um, the previous versions are kind of missing the files so yeah, it says please do a fresh install so obviously just delete the old folder from your PSP's game folder but yeah these are all of the new features features and there's actually loads of stuff this would actually be quite cool if you don't know what CM file manager is it's kind of like an Android interface on your PSP and you it's kind of like a file explorer with a few extra features it's quite nice and this version has also got FTP mode which is very exciting I do actually have FileZilla on my computer so maybe I can try it with this and see what happens um, if you want to support him he does also have a PayPal but let's just go ahead and let's download the application so what we're gonna do is go to assets and we're just gonna to click on the CM file manager zip file right here and then we're going to wait for that to download and once it's done we're going to go to our downloads folder and we can actually find it in here so we're going to grab the zip file we're going to right click it and we're going to click extract here and we're just going to extract the folders out of it so we're going to go inside of PSP game we're going to find it in here then we're going to look for our PSP, we're going to look for the game folder, and we're going to drag and copy it across. There you go guys, it's literally as simple as that. I also have FileZilla on this computer, which I'm going to open up now. So here is my FileZilla, this is kind of like the FTP application I use, and um, there's quite a few different ones. This is one I just, you know, like the most. I always use this with my PSV and stuff like that, it's very good. So yeah, we're going to try and connect this to my PSP as well, looks like there's a new version, maybe I'll install that later. So yeah, this is what I will be using, as it said on the website, the port is always 1337 right here which is also the same as the PS Vita and then the port will also show on your PSP so what we're going to do is we're going to test out first and maybe we will try FTP later Right guys, so now that we are back, we're just going to close off this, we're going to scroll over and we're going to go to the system storage and we're going to press X and then we're going to find the CM file manager so what we're going to do from here is just press X to go and load it up so once it's loaded up, it's just going to look exactly like this, and it's very, very easy to kind of browse. If you press select, it will bring up the side here. As you can see, we have got EFO selected. If you are on a normal PSP, it will say MSO. That is because that's just the like normal PSP memory cards. Um, on PSP Go, it's EFO. And um, you can pretty much just browse everything. So we've got the PSP folder. You can press X to go into it. You can delete stuff. You can press square to tick stuff. Um, you can press circle to go back. I'm pretty sure you can press triangle to view the properties you can delete it there's more options as well and yeah as you can see it really does look like Android you guys get the idea it's pretty basic to scroll through everything now if we press start this is where we can bring up the options or kind of like the settings so we've got FTP connection which we're gonna try right now I'm not sure if this is gonna work but we're just gonna try and see what happens so I'm just going to press X on FTP connection and oh no I forgot, it needs my network, doesn't it? Um, unfortunately for me, my PSP does not work with my network. It's because my network is too modern. Um, I don't, doesn't use WPA, so my PSP can't connect to it, um, which is a shame, but I think quite a lot of you might have this issue as well. You can fix it by changing your router settings, but it's not really recommended. Maybe I will try my PS Vita on Adrenaline and see what happens, but even if I scan for it, you guys will see that I'm not lying. It's gonna pick up my network, and it's gonna say, not supported which is sad but we can just go back on this 
I will try it on my PS Vita and we can see what happens. So let's just cancel out this one and we're going to go back. As you can see, connection failed. Um, we've got sorting options. We've got dark theme, which looks pretty cool. Uh, we have got auto USB mount developer options, which you can turn on. We've got support and we've got about as well. So um, that is the information about it. Version 3.2.0, which is the latest version, which is very cool. This stuff is still being updated. So I guess that is pretty much it on my PSP. Let's switch over to my PS Vita and let's see if we can get it working. Right guys, so on my PS Vita, is this going to work? I'm not too sure, but it's always worth a try. So let's go onto my memory stick. Let's find the CM file manager and let's press X to go and boot this up. And we are going to see what actually happens. Um, I think obviously my network is going to work through my PS Vita, but I just don't know if it's going to connect successfully or not. But I guess we're going to find out. So let's just press on start. Um, FTP connection. Come on, please work. Connecting. Damn it, it didn't work. As you can see, it, this should be numbers. It should be 192.168.70.1, something like that. But instead for me, it's all zeros, which basically means it's not supported on the PS Vita. Maybe you guys can try it. Let me know what happens. I'm sure someone can get it working, but um, I have no idea how I'd go about fixing this. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same on the PS Vita. You can use it on here completely fine. And um, if I just press select, there you go, MSO, just like the PSPs and PS Vita. On the PSP Go, it was EFO. So I guess that is pretty much it for this video. Obviously, the FTP settings are over on the GitHub guide. So if you guys want to follow those, very, very simple. Well, if you guys do manage to get it working, here are the FTP mode instructions. It's pretty simple. You press start to open it up, just like I was doing. And when the network pops up, you will actually get the IP port and, of course, the port, which is 1337. For me, it just doesn't work or it just shows zeros, which is a shame. But um, there you go. And um, once an FTP connection is established, what you have to do is manually search for one of the paths. So this would probably be your MSO if you're on um, normal PSP or PS Vita. Or if you're on the PSP Go, it would be the EFO. Um, I think you can also search flash which is quite interesting but obviously a bit, be a bit careful when you're doing this because you don't want to mess anything up. So if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe for more PSP and PS Vita videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.